So how do you upload from Google Drive into YouTube? The first thing is you can do it direct these days, or it's very difficult, um, but it doesn't mean it's impossible. First thing you've got is Google Photos. You click Import. You can see I've got a video here already. Um, this one is one I did earlier. Well, uploaded earlier. Um, but I'm going to show you how to get this to work. And you, you'll see how quick it is in a minute when we actually throw another video in here. First thing you need to do is go over to Google Photos. And if you click on this button down here, it's your settings. So you want to go to settings. Make sure your Google Drive switched on. And there's another setting I can't see now, which actually creates a Google Drive for Google Photos. Like Facebook and Google and all these other big companies, once you've activated something that gives them access to your data, some of it disappears and is very hard to find uh, to switch it back off. This is an exact example. I can't find the button to actually remove the Google Drive from my uh, the Google Photos from my Google Drive. But it doesn't matter because it's actually what I wanted today. But now we go over to my Google Drive. Here's my Google Drive. And as you see, it's created this folder called Google Photos. And that's the where the photos are. So I actually want to upload a video. So I'm going to go in here. Now, because this is a shared folder, I don't actually want to do anything to this particular folder. But what I do is make a copy of that file. So I copy that, throw this into my main directory, go back to my main directory, scroll down. Uh, yes, I know it's a bit of a pain. Um, grab it from there, and I want to drop it into Google Photos. Yeah, it's gone in the right folder. Now if I go over to uh, back to YouTube, we should actually see a video up here. Let's close that just to see if it helps. Import again. May take a little minute. The reason being is it's now created. As you can see, it can't see the video yet. It's still doing a duplicate copy. Doesn't matter. Click select. And that's it uploading. Now I want to show you it's already uploaded in that time period. Uh, two seconds. So the video is up there. It's now processing it. What's delaying it is because it was a copied file. Now, like I said, that was a shared folder, so I don't actually want to move anything out of the folder because it's more than me using it. Um, so it's now moved a duplicate file into the uh, new Google Photos folder created a new file there and edited it, um, made a proper duplicate of it. Uh, these files are over 500 meg anyway. Um, and now it's uploaded that to YouTube. YouTube knows the file isn't complete yet, so it's leaving it sat in processing till it's got all the information. But the file is there, it's done. You can walk away from this now and just leave it to do whatever because Google's already, uh, YouTube's already accepted the file and it uploaded in a couple of seconds. And like I says, it's, you can't activate it yet, but you can fill all your information in there and as soon as the file's ready, it'll go live. Thanks for watching. And yes, that took me over an hour to find how to do that, uh, but it's a very useful tool.